Hey, I'm Ryan and this is Burnout Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you a nice easy way to lift a small block Chevy 350 out of your car. I already have the whole block completely undressed. Uh, all the heads and everything is pulled off because I was checking for an internal coolant leak. But um, everything is already ripped off and you can see I've got my engine hoist here. And I don't have any fancy chains or anything to do this, but you can use ratchet straps as long as they're weighted at enough. So uh, a fully dressed 350 weighs about 500, maybe 600 pounds, depending on what heads you have on it. Um, so just the block, which is what I have in here, is going to be really light. Now each of these ratchet straps, I believe, is weighted for about 800 pounds. So between the two straps, that's plenty of weight. It should be able to take it no problem. And so now I'll, uh, I'll show you the, the four mounting points that I chose for the hooks on the ratchet straps. Okay, so up here at the front, I actually uh, hooked the ratchet strap right on to the mount under there, right up on the front of the mount, the part that's hooked onto the engine block. It's not the strongest connection point, but it should do the trick. There's no really, there's no room for it to slip anywhere. Now back here at either side of the engine, there's a little hole bracket that you can slip your hook into very nicely. It fits very well and it's a nice solid connection for your whole setup here. And you can do the same thing on either side of the engine, creating a nice even distribution of the weight of the engine block. Okay, so what I've actually done here is I've hooked up all the straps and I've pumped up the hoist a little bit so that not all of the weight is pushing down on the bolts inside of the mount. It'll make it a lot easier to take the bolt out and free up the engine. Because obviously, the last step is to take the bolt off the mount. Now right here, you can see the engine mount and the bolt that is holding the two pieces together. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this long skinny bolt and I'm gonna use it to push the bolt that's holding the engine mount together all the way through and then pull it out the other side. Now that mount is not holding the engine in. And so you just gotta do the same thing on the other side and then you're ready to start pumping the engine hoist so that you can lift the engine out. Okay, and so now I'm taking out the bolt on the other side. Just like that, nice and easy. And like I said, I've already disconnected everything else. I've disconnected the trans mount. And so I should be ready to just start lifting everything out, which will take a while. And yeah, so it's, it's gonna take a bit of finagling as you're uh, trying to get this thing out, but it should come out pretty easily. Another thing that you should do, which I forgot to, uh, before you start taking out your engine, is remove your fan shroud. It'll give you uh, more room to finagle your engine around to help you get it out. And there you go. With just a little bit more finagling and pushing, you should be able to just slide your engine and trans right on out of your car and you're on your road to uh, rebuilding that engine. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a whole series about rebuilding a 350. So uh, if you're in the market for that, make sure you subscribe and, and check that out. But uh, that's it for now. Like I said, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.